Your data may already contain many calculations which are used by the business regularly, but it will never contain every calculation you may require on a day-to-day -day basis. Fluence Excel gives you the flexibility to add your own calculations to dynamic Fluence Excel grids. In this example, we want to compare the performance of warehouse sales to those of value-added resellers. To do so, I click on Warehouse, go to the Grid ribbon, and select Column Calculation. An additional column is then added to the grid. We can rename it by typing over the word calc, let's call it warehouse versus VAR. In the cell below, I will specify the calculation I want to use. We will make this equal to warehouse minus VAR, all divided by VAR, to give us the percentage difference between the warehouse and the value added reseller. We can now change the default formatting to be percentage by double clicking on the column header and pick in the number format, where we will select percentage and one decimal place. We can drill down into this report, and as you can see, the calculation will expand with the grid. If we then undrill the report, the calculation will shrink with the grid, so it is truly dynamic. We may also want to see how this performance changes over time. So we will take the date hierarchy and move it to the left of reseller type. There are a number of ways to do this, by using the grid designer by double clicking on the grid, or using the grid task pane accessible from the Fluence Excel ribbon, where we can rearrange the hierarchies in a similar way to Excel pivot table field lists. Here, however, we will simply use the draggable header labels. Now we can change a selection for the date and choose a range of years. In this case, I will add 2019 and 2020. As you can see, the calculation is now repeated for every year. If we no longer need the calculation, we can right click on the calculation title cell and in the Fluence Excel menu, we can choose calculation and then delete calculation. This was a very straightforward example. In reality, the calculations could contain anything you can do in Excel, from simple addition and division like here, to VLOOKUPs to bring non-cube information into the grid.